These guidelines um, inform people of why concussion is important, how to recognise it, how to manage it and how to safely return to play. So they're very important in terms of educating people and getting people to understand why we're taking this very seriously. And this isn't just about the, the Ireland team and the professional players, this is about people involved in rugby at every level. This guideline is, is mainly aimed at the amateur game um, because as you say it's about everybody and it's not just for players, it is for officials, it is for coaches, it is anyone involved in rugby or involved in player welfare. It's a really important issue that the players need to recognise and also moving forward and getting the right, the right processes in place and this is the, the first step in, in a few more I'm sure to make sure that the, that the player welfare is, is, is at the, the top end of, of importance. Uh, we saw recently the case with Brian O'Driscoll uh, even tweeting about how impressed he was that the doctor wouldn't let him go back on. You know, as a player he wanted to, but, but the right thing was done from, from a player welfare point of view. That's a really important thing um, from a professional player, but, but at every level of the game, isn't it? Yes, of course. There's always the temptation for players to, to sort of ignore the, the, the physical symptoms and also the mental symptoms that they receive during the game. The most important thing for players is to, to recognise the player welfare, to recognise that, that this is an important issue that needs to be addressed from themselves from themselves first and then also from the, from the people around them as well so so from that from that from that point of view you know this this program and this this process is imperative as a referee with experience at every level of the game what's your role to play in identifying a concussion within a player I mean, I suppose player welfare is our primary concern for every player it doesn't matter what level whether it's an age grade game or an international rugby match player safety is is paramount under the laws of the game, 3.9 gives the referee the power to sideline any player that he suspects has a concussion or is in any kind of medical danger at all. So we have that power, so it's good to have it. Obviously at international level, the level of professional medical service is world class here in the IRFU as we know. Uh, but at age grade level where it's just ordinary coaches, parents, players that haven't that medical expertise, Common sense has to prevail and we have to make sure that those players are protected and if there's any suspicion of concussion at all that those players will be sidelined immediately by the referee, the coach or a parent if they suspect their, their, their son or daughter is, has a concussion. And the, one, of the, the, one of the key features of this guide is, is about making sure that players, parents, coaches educate themselves in terms of what they can do to prevent concussions. Yeah and this campaign will be fantastic with 18,000 wallet cards being distributed along the four provinces. Obviously uh, the medical department of the IRFU have already had seminars all over the country. We've had three or four in, in the Munster province and had fantastic turnouts. So once this campaign hits the ground running, the awareness will be there. Hopefully the, the, the issues will be definitely help going forward.